In the previous video, we looked at how we could easily extract a table of data from a PDF using the open source tabular application. But tabular can do a lot more than just extracting one table at a time. One of its most useful and time-saving features is that it can extract multiple separate tables from a multi-page PDF all in one go. For this demonstration, I'm going to use a, file, a PDF file I've already uploaded to Tabula. And my PDF has four pages. But if you still need to upload a PDF, you'd obviously need to click on the Browse button to locate your file, and then click on Import to upload your file. I'm just going to use the, P the, the, use the PDF I've already uploaded. So the first thing I do is I click on Extract. Tabula then opens my file in its own browser. As you can see, there are four pages in my thumbnails down the left-hand side of the window, and four pages in the main browser window. If we scroll through the file, we can see that each page is similar and has the same types of tables on each one. What we're going to do is extract just the top table from each of the pages, and we're going to extract them so that they're extracted as one set of data. So the first thing I need to do is click and drag around the top table on the first page. This highlights the area that I want to extract. When I do this, Tabular highlights that table on the page. You'll also notice that when you do that, a button pops up to the right-hand side with an option to repeat the selection. You can click on this, and this selects all the similar tables in our PDF. If we now scroll down, we can see that the top table on each of the pages of the PDF have now been highlighted. Now that we've highlighted our data, we can preview the selection that we've made by clicking on the Preview button. This may take a second or two depending on your file, and then a preview window will appear. As you can see, all four tables have been picked up in our preview. So we've got table one, table two, table three, table four. If we're happy with our preview, we can then, let, then select a format for our export. As usual, we can select from multiple formats, but I'll use CSV again as it's one of the most useful formats for exporting. So we select CSV and then we click on export, which downloads the file to our computer. We now need to open our downloads folder or wherever the file was saved. This is my file, and it's in my Downloads folder. As before, I then right-click on the, on the file, and in my case, select to open the file in LibreOffice. I then select the default import options, and a couple of seconds later, the file is opened in a spreadsheet. As we can see, all four tables are there, and we can now sort or filter the data or add other data. Obviously, you could also open the CSV file in other spreadsheet applications like Excel or Google Sheets. It's up to you.